If you're watching this video, it's because you want to know the best way to study for and pass the Amazon AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner or the CCP Certification Exam. In this video, I'm going to give you the best tips and resources that I use to pass the exam and that you should use on your journey to successfully pass. But first, if this is the first time that we're meeting, welcome to my channel. My name is John Good, and here I get to spread my passion for cybersecurity training, tips and tricks, and career advice to help you go further. I'm going to smash the thumbs up to like this video, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss future content, and make sure to leave a comment for the YouTube algorithm. Check out my website at johngood.com for more training without advertisements, resume reviews, career advice, and consulting services. Also, if you're trying to break into cybersecurity, check out my Getting Started page for free resources and a free copy of my ebook on cybersecurity careers. All right, let's get into the video. There's no question that cloud is the future for a lot of companies to host their networks and their systems. If you look at the list of any hot skills that you need for any technology or cybersecurity jobs, cloud's going to be towards the top. Not to mention the salary numbers are going to be very high for cloud jobs too. Personally, up until taking the AWS CCP, I didn't have any cloud certifications, and I definitely noticed that as a gap that I needed to take care of. With cloud certifications, the very first thing that I had to decide was which cloud provider that I was going to go after. Let me give you a few tips about what I was thinking about when I was deciding. First, I had to look at the jobs and the type of companies that I wanted to work for. And I like working for companies that use cutting edge technologies. Second, at the time of this video, I had to look and see who had the largest market share of cloud services, and that was AWS. That's a huge selling point. And third, which cloud provider are people talking about? It's not quite like Cisco versus Juniper, but when cloud comes up, AWS is always at the top of the mind. So Amazon AWS just made sense. All right, let's go ahead and shift gears to the study materials. With AWS certifications, white papers from Amazon are going to be huge in preparing for the exam. And that's for any AWS certification. The CCP is an entry level AWS certification. So it's really gonna be high level and broad just as far as what you need to know and the different services and how you would use them. Okay, so what about videos or books that you can use to study? Typically for certifications, I'll recommend a book for you to study, but with the AWS CCP, it's really not necessary. Video training absolutely is something that you're gonna have to do though. Now, I had heard about A Cloud Guru from a lot of different people, and so I thought about giving it a look. Now, A Cloud Guru isn't necessarily cheap, but compared to a lot of other training platforms, it's pretty reasonable. Now, if we go ahead and take a look at the website, you can see here on the pricing page the different options here. So you have the Personal Basic, $348 if you do it yearly, the Personal Plus, $468 if you do it yearly, and then you also have some business plans that you can choose from. We switch it to monthly. You can see basic is $35 per month. The plus is $47 per month. Now, if we do the compare plans here, we can scroll down and see that you do have a free tier as well. And of course, you're gonna be limited if you do the free tier. The big difference between the basic and the plus plans here is gonna be the sandbox access. If you do the plus option, you can get the sandbox environment, meaning that you can spin up different instances of cloud environments and you can play around without having to worry about cost. That's a huge benefit, especially when you're first starting out. So personally, if I was going to give you a recommendation of a Cloud Guru and which one to do, I would do the Personal Plus because the sandbox environment is just going to be extremely useful. I hope that you're enjoying the content in this video so far. If you are, make sure to hit the thumbs up to like this video. And if you think of any questions, leave it down in the comment section below. Also remember that this training and courses can be found on my website without distracting interruptions or advertisements. All right, let's get back to the content. Now, another option that you can use to practice your skills in AWS is an AWS free tier account. Now, let's go ahead and pull up the website here. If we go to Google and we search for AWS free tier, you can see this AWS free tier section here. So let's click that. And AWS free tier is extremely useful. So you get essentially certain services for 12 months free. So if we scroll down here and we look at the different options, so EC2, which is basically like virtual machines in the cloud, you get 750 hours of EC2 per month. That's a lot. So you can definitely use this to help you study. You also get things like S3 buckets and storage and some of these other different options. You also get trials to a lot of different stuff, which is absolutely huge in learning. 
Now with the free tier, when you sign up, you do have to provide a credit card and you wanna still make sure that you're not racking up charges. And when you go into your actual account, it will say this is a free option or you know it doesn't have an indicator that it's free for another option. So you still have to be pretty careful, but this is definitely very useful. Now let's talk about the exam itself. The exam is 65 multiple choice questions or multiple response answers. So that'd be where you pick a few different answers and you get 90 minutes to finish the actual exam. As far as the cost, it's 100 US dollars, and the CCP was my first remote exam, which is actually really nice because you don't have to go to a testing center. When you go to the website, you register and you pick the day and time that you want. You can even do the same day if you wanted, and that was actually very nice for me. And something that I noticed was you have to register pretty quickly, especially if you're doing it the same day because times fill up quickly, but what I learned was that if you get to the end and it says that time is booked, go back and there's probably another time for the same day. So just keep trying, but absolutely be quick if you're gonna do the same day. When it comes to test time, the testing window opens up 15 minutes early and you basically have to go through a bunch of different kind of setup things. So you have to take pictures of your exam environment and they make sure that you don't have you know, books out or anything like that. Then once your turn in line comes up because you get put into a queue, you'll be contacted by a proctor and they might ask you to do a little bit more stuff. So they might you know, tell you to take another picture for them or rotate your camera, your webcam, so that they can see the full environment. But honestly, it's pretty, pretty simple, but definitely log in early. Use that extra 15 minutes because it's gonna be stressful anyways for any certification exam. And if you wait to the last minute and you have to do something, you know, it's, it's going to be more stressful. Also, too, they recommend that you test the software prior to actually getting on for your exam. And you can install it and it will go through a test environment. But it's actually pretty interesting because the software is exactly what you would use at a regular testing center. It will lock down your computer and you can't, you know, exit the screen. And then at the very end, it will unblock the rest of your screen and system so you can go back and do whatever you needed to do. But it's very interesting. Once you get to the end of the exam, just like any normal exam, it's gonna show you your score and say if you passed or not. And then about a day later, my AWS certification profile updated with my new certification. Question of the day, why are you looking at the AWS CCP certification exam? Are you comparing it with other certifications? Let me know down in the comment section below. What's my opinion on the AWS CCP certification? I would highly recommend it. It's a great entry level and way to dip your toes into the cloud environment of AWS. The study process for the certification is super easy. And honestly, it took about a month, but if you go quickly and you stay you know, buckled down, you can probably finish it quicker. Look, cloud's not going away, so you need to get a cloud certification for sure. And remember, in technology and in cybersecurity, we have to keep up with new trends. So if you're just pushing it off until later, it's probably gonna hurt you in your career. You need to do it now. In this video, we went over the best tips and resources that I use to pass the AWS CCP certification and that you should use in your journey as well. As always, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Check out my website at johngood.com for more training, resume reviews, career advice, and consulting services. And I'll see you next time.